Hello everyone, welcome to Homes for Beginners where I show you how to do repairs around the house yourself. In this video, while it's not a tutorial, I will be reviewing tools that I'd recommend having around the house. With any of my review videos, I only support items which I believe are well made and worth the money. I will not review any bad products as I do not want to get involved in any legal issues with companies. For this I have a 6 gallon or 22.7 liter Bostitch pancake air compressor which I purchased about 2 years ago so it's had plenty of use. This comes as a kit with a nail gun however I'll only be reviewing the air compressor as I haven't had much use with the nailer yet. Its dimensions are about 16 inches in diameter and 18 inches in height. Its weight is 29 pounds so it's very manageable for most people. As you can see we have Bostitch typical black and yellow color scheme. The tank has a painted finish while the cover on the top is a black plastic. Overall the construction does appear to be very rigid. The regulator is located in the front which I'll explain a little further on. We have a handle at the top, a on off rocker switch towards the top, 5 feet of cord which has a spot to wrap up, there is a relief valve behind the regulator, and 3 feet which allows for self leveling on soft rubber pads. It's listed as an oil free compressor, therefore there's no need for maintenance. I did manage to find a parts breakdown of the unit and it also features a single piston pump. It's set up to shut off at 150 PSI, has a 2.5 SCFM rating at 90 PSI. We originally needed something to operate an air nailer inside the house and didn't want to drag around the larger compressor inside the house. We also wanted something that was relatively quiet for an air compressor. Air compressors naturally aren't very quiet, however this style of compressor and the price range, it has the lowest rating at 78.5 decibels. From empty to full, here's a real time video that's been sped up. It takes about 2 minutes and 39 seconds to fill up. It already comes pre-installed with two industrial style quick disconnect fittings, also known as the Milton M style. Both of these ports are regulated and it's controlled by one dial on the front. As for direct air loss, when using the blow gun, the compressor will empty faster than it fills up when it's set to about 100 psi. But once the regulator is set to 25 psi, this is where it becomes balanced out. When doing a 10 foot by 6 foot section of tongue and groove pine ceiling, it only uses about half a tank capacity. So it was easy enough to have it pump up outside, then bring it inside for the work. Being that this pump is a higher pressure, there is more chance of moisture being present in the air. Even more so considering I live in a climate with higher humidity. There is also a drain at the side of the tank and you'll need to make sure this type of maintenance is done once in a while. Pump up the tank, then open the valve and tilt the air compressor so the drain is facing down so the water can empty. Leaving moisture in a tank can cause the tank to internally rust, jeopardizing the structure and this also can cause added wear on any air tools. Overall I'm quite happy with this purchase. So far it's held up extremely well to the tasks around the house. I've used it for cleaning small engine carburetors, interior cleaning of cars, automotive repairs, running an air nailer, pumping up tires, etc. I do find if a full size truck tire is completely flat, a large volume of air is required. So if you're working with more than one tire, it does need to be pumped up more often. If you're using air tools that have more of a direct air loss, requiring more air volume such as an air drill or impact, then the air compressor will have a hard time keeping up. Lightweight, easily portable, doesn't take long to pump up, and doesn't take much room when storing, it's a great option for those shopping for a compact air compressor. Have you purchased this product? Please be sure to share your experiences in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like and also leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more home DIY videos. Thank you for watching.